my name's Maya. I'm one of the medical registrars that have been at Lincoln County this year. I've been developing a WebV handover tool, so that's an electronic handover tool to help us with the evening and weekend handovers. From August 2018, this will be mandatory in the medicine division for handover at the five o'clock and the weekend handovers. And I'm just gonna show you a little presentation, just quickly how to use it, as I won't be here to show you myself. So the handover tool is on WebV which is what we use for all our bloods and requesting. When you log on to WebV, you will see this page come up. You need to go to main menu, utilities menu, and then the tab you want is clinical handover. That's the hardest bit is remembering where to find it. The rest of it is all fairly self-explanatory. Once you've clicked on clinical handover, um, this will come up. So on the left hand side you've got your click a tab that says create new handover. There's a few columns here that you need to fill in. So your lead clinician, I just pick one of your consultants, it doesn't really matter which one. The location is a little bit different, what hard to explain. It's the location where the handover occurs. So handover always occurs at the present on EM MEAU in the nurse's office. So this is an option you need to select. So just if you click on MEAU Nurses Office. The specialty, you can pick what you want, cardiology, general medicine, just select from the drop down menu. And the handover title, we'd like this to be standardized as you can see on the right hand side. So your name of the ward and the date that the handover covers. So if it's for a Saturday, that the Saturday date rather than the date you submitted it. Once all of these are filled in, this box here that says create new handover will turn green and you can click on it. So I've created one here and this is demo. Wait, if you click on that handover, once it's been created, a blank list will come up. You need to click on edit patient list to allow you to add and delete patients from that list. When you click on that, initially what will come up is all the patients in the whole hospital. To make it a little bit simpler, just select your ward and then that will give you the only the patients for your ward. Pick, you can drag and drop the patients that you want to add onto your list for the handover and you can delete them the same way. When you're happy with the patients you want to hand over, click on the patient you want to edit and then click on edit selected patient details. That will get you to the next function. And here is when you can put all the details you want about the patient. So you click on the patient over here and you've got these boxes that they come up. So reason for admission and past medical history, management plan, current progress, their escalation status, antibiotics and medications if it's relevant. Currently this right hand column here is not really being used very much. So seen by a doctor and consultant is not particularly relevant and there's no options at the moment to go selected from and to, although this may change in the future. The next important thing is to add a task. These are the tasks that you're going to hand over, hand over and you can add them individually. So you click add, you type your task in there and then you click add and that will save it to the list. When you're done, you go back to your handover uh, main page. When you're happy with the handover as it is, and this is very important, just before you go to handover, and not a minute before then, but literally as you're about to walk out the door, then press, press submit and close current handover. Once you've submitted the handover, you cannot edit it. If you have made a mistake, you'll have to resubmit a new one. Once you've submitted and closed it, you'll be able to print to view it, and it looks like this when it's done. Obviously, you would have a bit more information in there, and when you're happy, you can press print. We are still using a paper system, so you'll still need to print the handover and take it to the handover room at, um, at the moment, although we are working on a way to make this all electronic. To find, if you, for example, need to find out if something was or wasn't handed over for a particular patient, if you want to find out their individual handover details, when you go onto the patient information on WebV, if you look at the left-hand column on their timeline, clinical handover, if you click on that, that will bring up whatever was handed over that day for that patient. If you need to find a whole ward's handover, for example, if you have theoretically misplaced a list, uh, you go to the same clinical handover module, 
but this time find existing handover. Now it's important you need to, for the date, you need to select the date it was submitted. So if it was for the weekend, it most likely would have been submitted on the Friday afternoon. So if you click on the Friday date, click find, and then all the handovers submitted on that date will come up. That's a very brief overview of it. It's fairly intuitive to use. I'd recommend you just go onto the wards and try to use it. We are saying that this is now mandatory to use for the five o'clock handovers to the evening and the weekend teams. Hospital at night have a different system, so it's not being used at night time at present. You should all have access to it as of this, as of the 1st day of August. However, if there are any problems, please email Claire Pearson with getting access. Thank you very much.